Good morning. Good morning. It's hype as fuck in here. What is going on, chat? Oh my god, chat. What is going on in here today, man? What is going on, boys? Damn, chat, you guys are going crazy today. Guys, what's going on with you guys today, man? Why are you guys so extra hyped today, man? This is nuts. I'm not even recording right now, boys. This is some nuts stuff, guys. Come on, man. What is going on today with you guys? Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! All right, boys, so um, we today we're going to have our first guest in about an hour and a half, I think. We're going to have our first guest. Basically, the way it's going to go, every time on this series that we have a guest, we're going to welcome them into our community. We're going to treat them respectfully. And uh, basically, every guest that we have on this series has a purpose. So today's purpose is I really need to learn collectively. I think we all do. I've I've written down a lot of questions. Like, I, I I've got a nice questionnaire. Right here, I've got some nice questions that I'm gonna ask. We're probably gonna play a game or two, but I've, I've got some questions that I need to get some answers to, some notes about. And uh, a lot of these questions will also help us boys with uh, progressing the series, a lot of them, man, because there's a lot of answers that we're seeking. You know what I realized? The funniness of the series is like, the home court advantage we have is not only you guys, but like, I'm in the area with the biggest rats in the world in New York City. Like, there's no bigger rats than New York City. Like, that's kind of funny, right? Guys, yesterday's episode literally changed everything. Did we get the title right yesterday? Every Everything changed yesterday. If you guys haven't caught up to the series yet, um, make sure you guys check out yesterday's video. Yeah, this episode changed everything. Dude, yesterday it literally changed everything. I can't even say that. I can't even say that phrase anymore because there's nothing else to be said. Everything already changed, guys. Chat, I looked on the internet last night about, like, renting a rat. Like, you can't really rent rats, bro. It's, like, not possible. I think I'm gonna have to go, like, if I want to do that for the series, I'm gonna have to get, like, a team and go in, like, hazmat suits and fucking go in the subways with a fucking net. Is that, like, animal abuse or no, dude? Like, I, I was looking on Petco and shit. Like, I can't find it, man. There's, like, no really rats. And there was, like, one, but it was really small. I want a big-ass rat, bro. Like, a fat rat and put in a little cage. But is that fucked up? I feel like that's fucked up, Chad. I, like, I really do think that's fucked up. That's fucked? Imagine, <laughs> dude, imagine, bro. I got the fucking... I got the... Man, it would be your own piece of content within itself of, like, getting all that shit filmed. Like, going in a subway, half an episode of Rat to Glory is, like... <laughs> in the trenches, bro, with a fucking net trying to get one, bro. It's, nah, man. It's too much, guys. I think that's gonna be too much. Take a risk? Yeah, I mean, that's a big-ass risk. But what if the rat has COVID? And I get COVID, and then Rat Leader's down for like a week. Welcome back, everybody! We haven't even started episode 8, and we're already crossing the borderline of getting canceled. Why did I say that? Because I was thinking with the 238 sub money, or subs that we got this year, we're going to use that sub money to potentially rent a rat, but that's going to be at a later time. That's not going to be this week. That might be next week, but I'm going to try my best to do it. Although, guys, I have to be honest with you, I really don't like spiders and rats. Like, I, I, I am a rat. Is that race? That's not racist, right, guys? Should I restart this intro and delete this bot? I don't think that's racist. Is that racist, guys, in 2021 to say I don't like another animal species? Prob is that is that messed up, chat, to say? All right, guys, so listen, man. Um, I have also been called today missing... Missing... Um, misogyna... Hmm. What is that message? Anyways, Mayday, we're gonna move on. I've been getting called names that are synonyms for canceled. People trying to sneak it in their donation messages. And that's okay. Today has been one of the hypest intros today. Uh, not today, but at, at any day I've seen on this series. I don't know what's going on today. I really don't. But people are going fucking nuts today. Uh, and maybe it's because yesterday the episode changed everything. Now, if you guys are watching this video or live stream, I have to do video because... We don't really talk to the YouTube a lot. We, we kind of just do in the stream with the Rat to Glory, but we re-upload and we get it edited. If you're watching on YouTube, you need to watch yesterday's episode. Episode 7. Not only did it change everything, it bridged... I was going to say something really stupid. I'm just not going to say... I was going to say it bridged Ice Age animals with modern-day Neanderthals. But that doesn't make any sense at all. That literally makes no sense. Anyways, guys, today's episode is going to be fucking crazy. I have a feeling today's episode is going to change more than yesterday's episode changed. Wow, we are throwing this intro. This has been the worst intro, but yet the hypest day of a start on Rat. I think I'm overwhelmed, to be honest, today. I don't really know what to say. Um, yesterday, we we went, we grinded squad with me. It was fucking horrible. Um, I'm not even going to lie, guys. It was the worst experience ever. To all of you people that play squad battles on FIFA 21, I don't judge you. But I sit here and question your sanity. I really do. And I don't, I'm still not judging you. 
But bro, are you guys crazy? Like, are, are you okay? But I'm not judging you. I'm not judging you. I'm not judging you for playing squad battles. But are you okay? Because that is terrible, man. Wow. Talk about a bad experience. I would rather be in an EA employee. Today we have a guest that's going to be coming on in an hour and a half, roughly. Uh, we're going to get some tips from one of the best players of FIFA 21, uh, which is going to be great. Guys, we're also rats with standards, so we have to make sure that the the sacredness of this series is okay. We've actually made it eight episodes in. We haven't had one copyright strike on YouTube. Actually, we've had seven hackers, but we've only had one Twitch ban, and it was five minutes long. It happened two episodes ago. Twitch banned us for five minutes. EA said, they have to cancel the series. We can't do this anymore. And then I called my guy at Twitch. I said, listen, listen, Rat the Glory is bigger than EA. Sent him some money under the table. We got unbanned in five minutes. I acted like it was my internet. We got right back on. They cannot stop us. Okay, they literally cannot stop us, all right? We are doing cash bribes to keep this series going on Twitch. But anyways, guys, and good to see a lot of the YouTube and Twitter audience adapting to our hacking narrative and theory. Finally, you guys are starting to understand this. You're coming around to it, and that's good, Chad, because listen, the only way we can be defeated is, well, we can never be defeated. Our team is crazy. I didn't. I wanted to make this intro longer because I want to give you guys the opportunity to watch yesterday's episode. If you haven't freaking watched it, you guys got to go watch it, man. The team literally changed forever, all right? Yesterday was just a mental day on the Rat to Glory. We took so many risks. So, like, for me, right, we got the icon that I fell in love with at the beginning of this year was Puskas, right? I, I really did. This was, like, the guy. We, we were probably one of the first creators to put this guy on the map. We tried him out. He's 92 on, like, the second day of the game. You're going up with those two, man. Oh, that shot cancel was crazy, man. Yo, this guy, man, I miss... We're ripping shots from half field. It was a great time. He's kind of back in the team now with his best version that I never used a ton, this specific one, to close the year. So I'm really excited to try him out. Whether or not he continues to start down the road, well, he's got to get the fraud test, the rat test, in a couple of games first. Then we'll figure out if he's a link player, a rotational player, or a rat starter. Does he play for the badge, etc., etc. But guys, you know what? My favorite edition of the week, it has to be Adama. I know we got Puskas. I even know that we've had crazy upgrades. Like, we've got Acuna on the team. We've got 91 rat leader at all. But I am the most excited about the addition of Adama Traore into this series. Adama is probably one of the best players in terms of putting him in a wide position, diagonally looking at the sideline and playing a logical through ball down the line. I really think Adama is one of the best players in the game for that. He's got the stock, the strength, the five-star skills, and I can't even imagine what a directional nutmeg is going to look like with this player. I really can't. So we have the most insane bench ever now. Um, it's, it's too much to be honest. Really the next upgrade we talked about yesterday, lacrosse team of the season and full birthday Mendy was really the, like the next two guys that we we're trying to get. But guys, we got 91 at all now. I mean, that's crazy. We're going to start to work towards getting the 94 today, but even the way that I see it, guys, this 91, we might be using this weekend because right now with the way our team is set up, he works really well for the team in the right mid slot because we now have Puskas to kind of link him. Um, guys, everybody in the chat is asking, where did Puskas come from? You guys, man, I told you guys to go watch yesterday's episode, man. God dang it, man. We took so many risks, man. I can't believe you missed out. How did you guys not watch yesterday? I think we should do a stat reveal, chat. I really do. I think we should do a stat reveal for this one. Okay. Yo, that dribbling is looking crazy. Who is this, bro? Yo, who is that? Yo, that passing is looking crazy. Ah! We took so many risks. All right, so anyways, yeah. I mean, guys, it's not that Resilient's done anything wrong. He really hasn't. He's been phenomenal. For the price, Resilient has been probably the most effective player in our squad. Like, literally, 4.9K, 23 games. And every game that we haven't played a hacker, he's had a shutout. When these games where my opponents are not making my players take bad touches, passing the ball out of bounds, sprint touches randomly, and, and locking my players off the ball, he has never conceded a goal. What a player, man. What a player. Uh, really, guys, today we've got rewards to claim early on. And then if we look into the objectives, we, we actually have a lot of progress on Tavernier. I am going to potentially have to figure out a way to get this done. This is not going to be easy, guys. We want to get Tavernier. We have a day and two hours left. I just don't know, chat. We're going to have to try to get maybe... I think we're going to have to keep Ryan Kent off the bench and sub him in um, during rivals. Because let me tell you something right now. I am not going back to squad battles. No, I am not going back to those trenches. No freaking way icon swaps were pretty much done on the back burner we got the week four gold done which means we're an objective rat but if we look at atal atal is starting to you know be really on the back burner for us but we will eventually get this 94 we're gonna have to keep doing this where we're just gonna use atal on rivals these will probably come pretty naturally i've got to take two long shots with him there and uh as long as atal is a right mid 
If we assist with him, we're going to get those squad battle matches done. And then at some point, we're going to have to make sure, and this will probably be, I think, early next week. We're going to probably make sure we have six League One players in our starting team just so we can get this done. This is uh, this is where it gets interesting. So we've got Rank 1 Division one, division Rivals today, guys. And uh, again, as always, we're going to let the chat vote. Now, I need to get coins for Lacroix, guys. We need to figure out how we're going to do that. We may have to do a little bit of trading today because I really want to get this guy for the weekend league. Lacroix on the market is 240k. Okay, right now we have a hundred and like, I think we have 110, 105k. So really our options here, guys, um, we've got a, a tradable 50, a tradable 35, a tradable 15, two tradable 15s. This option I'm not going to take, guys, because we really need coins. I don't need to pack anybody else. We've already packed, basically. Like, you have Team of the Year, Van Dyke, Ronaldo, all these guys. But at the end of the day, we've packed... We have a 91 at all. We've packed uh, Kante. We've packed Hernandez. We've packed Mbappe. We don't need it. We've packed Adama. We, we literally packed all the rats. So we don't need anybody else. So let's do a poll. I know a lot of guys want to take a risk. But this 57,000 coins, I, it's not going to take us to getting Lacroix. But... It's going to put us pretty damn close. Not pretty damn close, but it's going to put us in the range of helping out a bit. I mean, the issue with the tradable packs, chat is I just don't feel like... I don't know. These are not good. These are not that crazy packs. I just don't think they're going to be worth it. You can't get Lacroix this weekend. Well, we can if we... We can if we trade and get some lazies, but right now we have a vote where 70% of people are saying they want to take the tradable packs. I, I have to listen to what these guys are saying, man. So I guess we're going to risk it all, chat. I mean, I literally have to listen to what you guys say. There's nothing else I can do. Worst case scenario, you lose 40... 10 to 15k all right so tradable packs it is chat tradable packs it is boys that's what we're selecting today from our rank one rewards and the chat is already saying that these packs could change everything man but look we have to put out these polls chat because it's only fair that we give you guys the chance to vote the people have spoken and that's what it is chat untradable packs are not going to do anything for us man nothing and also i think the people know that watch that our pack look is crazy is that a boards and a pionage be pionage no it's jekko how am I an L streamer, bro? Everybody voted, man. I have to do what you guys vote for. Pack weight has been reduced. I have to do what you guys vote for, man. It's very simple. Now, this was tradable, guys. So let's do a tally. Jekko is 5K. We're, you know, we're not going to even do a tally, guys. What we're going to do... What we're going to do is we're not going to clear anything from the transfer list. Uh, I'm going to list all these guys up for open bid. And we're not going to clear anything from the trench list, guys. We're just going to see how much we make from today's reward setting, I guess, type thing, guys. That's what we're going to do. She can change our lives in our club, guys. Seriously. Uh, That's a 15k pack, chat. Man, if we can get a special card out of our 50k pack, chat, it's going to change absolutely. Now, Jack Bauer is like 3k. We're about 100k away still, but... Walk out. Boards, please be a boards. Come on, we need an 83. Come on. Shit, man. That's a that's only a 15, though, guys. It's only a 15. But this pack didn't really change anything, guys. All right, guys. Two big packs coming in, man. Mega pack. Can we get a boards, please? Ah, chat. Is this guy going to sell for any coins? What are you guys thinking, man? He's 12K? What? I mean, I bought a center back from Milan for 12K yesterday. But that's not bad, chat. We're not going to complain. Yo, this mega pack almost changed everything. Yo, he's 20K. Bro. Captain America. No, we need the coins, dude. Nick Pack himself. <laughs> All right, 19K, boys. Put him on the bench for Doku. No, we need coins, bro. We need coins. Diego Car... Yo, 8K. Yo, what is going on, chat? 8.1K. Oh, Willian is 3.5. Yo, this pack kind of changed a lot. Bro, shout out to the rats, man. Always making the decision. You know what I learned about this series? If we don't take the risk, we're just hurting ourselves at the end of the day. We always have to take the risk. Taking the risk is the key to success, man. What am I seeing? And of course, then we have the joke in the chat about only 75 I'm shooting for an American. Yeah, very funny joke there. All right, buddy. All right, now listen, chat. We have uh, 1.7K. Guys, rats with standards. Remember this. We do not want to say things in the chat that are going to potentially get this live stream canceled, okay? All right, guys. Thank you. All right, 1.5. 
Can you tell the rats when Boris is coming? They're asking too much. I think at 11.30, guys. So that's in about an hour. Can you guys imagine the depression that will enter all of us if we can't stream the series anymore? We're going to, like, lose our minds. Uh, there is a trader listing all... Of no, this is also 3.5K. Yo, people are paying 900 coins for a sky blue gold net color. Wow. Let me see. We have 150K. Listen, we have 150K right now, chat. With give or take 40 to 50... Oh, jeez, chat! We've got about 40 items on the transfer list, all averaging at about 1,000 coins for a sale price. Yo, we've made a lot of coins so far, guys. I think we've made like 60 to 80k already before this 50k pack. I'm not even going to lie to you, chat. We've made a lot of coins so far, guys. This is, this is impressive. Yeah, I know. I started at 103k, and we've got 151, and we've got 40 items up right now. So it's, it's very promising. This is just contracts, right? Thank you so much, EA. All right, guys, can we see a board? We got to get at least the boards in this pack. It doesn't have to be a walkout, but we got to get at least the boards. It's very important that we get at least the boards, guys. We're going to need at least the boards, chat. It's not a walkout. It is a board. Be an 84 and 85, please. French. Left mid. Yes, boys. All right. So every rare is 1.5K. That is a W, chat. I think this guy's going to be like 10K at least. And Acuna, bro. Acuna's going to sell for a lot. Yo, he's, tw he's 20K. All right, guys. We're going to list for a lazy at 19.25. Acuna is like 6K. Yo, guys, this is why we take risks, man. How much is Buffon? Buffon is 3K. God damn, chat. Always take the risk, man. Ariola is 4k. Oh my boys. These packs changed a lot. I'm not even gonna lie. Man, I wanted coins. What a fraud am I? Rabiota's 4k? Can I have this PC market forever, bro? I want to open packs. Imagine foot drafts on PC in the beginning of FIFA. How was Buffon 3k? There was one for 2.7. Am I blind? Uh, dude, PC has an avid amount of lazy buyers. All right, guys. So stuff. Wow. So stuff is selling left, right, and center. So I think Project Lacrosse is looking like it's gonna work today, chat. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah, it's looking real good. Now, we can sell Lise Malou as well because, well, we're not going to need him anymore, guys. And also, and also, chat, we finished the icon swap. So now what we're going to do is relist all of our Argentinian players. <gasps> Yo, what is this, man? He went up to 2.2K. No way. Do we profit on this whole Argentinian team? Okay, this guy is 1.7. Wow, we might make like 10 to 15K on this too. Jeez, man. Am I in the top 100 yet for trading? I really feel like I deserve to be there. You, this guy is 5, 3K? This guy is 3K, 3.2. Yo, guys, this team, we are uh, going to... Oh, my God. This guy's 2.5K, boys. This is big money today, chat. Oh, wow. Somebody must be doing the objective right now. So, chat, we have 203K. Um, That's a lot of coins. I'm not even going to lie. It's a lot of coins. Um, Lacrosse is 240. So, he definitely looks buyable. Oh, Mukieli is a fullback, and that's something to also consider, chat. Mukieli is a fullback, and he's... Now, chat, the thing the thing with Mukieli, right, is that he's faster. He's also faster and taller. But the thing that I worry about with Mukieli, does he get chemistry? Mukieli would be on 8 cam, chat. Well, no, I'd get another keeper, to be honest, chat. We'd just get another goalkeeper. But the French keepers are not that good. We can pull it, but I really feel like Lacroix is better. But we can pull it if you guys want. I think Lacroix is better, chat, because I think Mukieli has bad defensive awareness. I think Mukieli would also be off chemistry, which I'm not. I'm not in love with. I'm not in love with that. Let me see the comparison. Maybe we wait to do this and we ask Boris today. Who he thinks is better? Yeah, this guy only has 81 defensive awareness. That's not very good, chat. For the through balls, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And what does Lacroix have? 91 defensive awareness with 99 strength, and it's gonna be on full chemistry. So I'm kind of thinking Lacroix is going to be the better option here, chat. I really do, man. I really think Lacroix is going to be the better option. But let's see what the poll says. So the poll is also saying Lacroix. I mean, we got to be on the lookout. I think 230, 220 for Lacroix. We have the coins. 100% we have the coins. We have 65 items on the transfer list, bro. 65. So we, we have at least 250 to 300k on the transfer list. Varane rode to the final and Courtois. Varane rode to the final and Courtois. See, that I like from the goalkeeper's perspective of things. Ron is 250. Medium high. Now, the thing with Varan that is a little questionable, even though he's very overpowered, is that his dribbling is horrible. 
His dribbling is horrible. You think he's more ratty? That's what I'm a little nervous about, chat. His dribbling is really bad. And you guys know me. I like to dribble out of the back. I'm an idiot. Hernandez will be off cam. That's the thing as well. We're going to lose chemistry with Hernandez, I think, right? Willa, thank you for the recent... And Mbabu is going to go to bad chemistry as well. That's the thing. We have a very specific team right now. You know what, guys? How much is full birthday Mendy? Because we might have enough to get Lacroix and Mendy. Oh, he went up so much today. Guys, Mendy went up 40k today. No, he was 130 on Monday. Fuck, man. He went up so much. Can I gamble, chat? Is there anything I can do to take a risk? Oh, yo, Donnarumma is 130? Why is this guy so much coins? Oh, it's the La Liga Weekend League objective for Mendy, right? And Donnarumma is how much for Record Breaker? 100, man. Oh, listen, chat. I might play Gold Pope off cam this weekend. I don't even care if it fucks my cam. I might have to do this, man. I'm going to ask Coach Boris today what I should do. We're going to have to get some squad improvements too. Let me write this in my notes. I have like 30 questions. With this Kyle Walker still 235k? Tavernier? Maybe Tavernier, right? If we can get him done today. Tavernier. Yeah, Tavernier. Taver Man, Tavernier, Bisaka, Pope, Jesus. You know, chat? So that's probably what we're looking at. And a lot of people really like Juan Bisaka in this game. He's a very popular player. Marcelo for president. Thank you for the sub. Jelly, what's good? All right, guys. 83 chemistry team is our first opponent today. What? 83 cam, bro. What is this guy fucking doing, man? He's got foot birthday Renato on one chemistry, bro. One cam. And a gold non-rare keeper? What? Is this guy... Hi, everyone. It just what? What? Day for Yo, is this guy hacking? What's in... Is that speed-up glitch? Did you guys just see that? A really sumptuous ball. Is it going to be? And there it is. Gotta bring the keeper out here with authority. Come on, Donnarumma. <gasps> Resilient, bro. Maybe we don't get Lacroix. This Resilient is crazy. Best goal player ever, man. Puskas! Puskas! What a goal, man. Yo. Mbappe. Oh my god, man. Who is gonna stop the rats now, bro? This is too much, man. This is too much. What a goal. This is too much. Yo, this Natal is crazy! Nah, Adama! What am I seeing? <laughs> Dude, this team is mad! Run, Adama! Run, Adama! Run, Adama! Run, Adama! Oh my god, this Adama in the second half is gonna cause terror on opponents, bro. Yo, Adama, man, we... Adama, man, we're gonna need that one to go in, buddy. We have till tomorrow to do six more English goals, which means we're gonna somehow have to score with Kent, which is very hard. I don't think that's worth it, bro. Was that a boards? Oh my nice, dude. Mike, what's up, bro? Uh, we could do an 81 plus chat. Wanna do one? Jenks, what's up? Rocksteady, what's good? What's up, guys? Yo, that's a W. 85. Thank you. It's untradeable. Neto's untradeable. Beauty. All right, so you guys want to get gold Rashford instead of Kent. How much is Rashford? I think Rashford's out of packs, but we can buy him and sell him today. We lose to Kent is not doing it off the bench, man. As much as I love Kent, he's going to be really hard to score with. I don't remember what division. I think it was like everybody was in the same division. Oh, man, guys, this is... Oh, man, Chad, this is going to be sweaty. Guys... This is our little hacker friend, man. And we play this guy two or three times now. What? What? Wait, 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 chat. We have to keep some notes of something. Hold on a sec, because we can always learn from fucking hacking rats. Yo, this guy, he every time we play him, he shoots in that inner circle outside the box. I think there's like a hitbox in that circle that's super OP to shoot from that area. He's always scoring every time he's shooting from that area. Ah! Mbappe! Mbappe! 
Goal! Many occasions he's frauding. What the fuck? That's hacking, man! Are you chat? What is that, man? He's hacking! That's a brilliant, but after that, it's been disappointing. I'd like to see them use those wide areas around the defense. Get Bang! King at all against the best center back in the game. Dude, Donnarumma! Oh my, everybody's falling over! Shit. Come on, Donnarumma. Nice. Yo, he is match fixing. You guys are right, man. He's trying to throw this game, right? No, what's going on, Resilient? You can't really pass. We probably have to upgrade you for that reason. They might be able to get in now. Then you're there. There's another chance. And there it is. Back of the net. Okay, guys, we're gonna bring on our first guest right now. Okay. Boris, I'm I'm calling you, man. Man, welcome. How are you, dude? Thank you so much. Uh, doing fine. Doing fine. Uh, just open my rewards as well. Top 50. And if you want to see, you can watch it tonight. Self promo. Look at this guy. Right. Chat. It was not the best. No, but this is the this is the platform to do it because we have the the sweatiest of sweaty players watching here. Um, and I'm bringing you in because I feel like yeah, top 50. Like you're always getting top 100 every week, and I'm not. I don't. I don't. Well, you just said you got top 50. Almost every week, but. Top 200, I've been there like this year, maybe five, six times. And no 30 yet, bro. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but it's still time. 30 is very hard this year. The, it this is year, difficult. hard as you're for sure to get a 30, I think. Yeah. Okay, so honestly, uh, huge congrats on all your success because you've been going crazy. I, 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 would, I think you're like top five on this game. Every time you go on, you don't stream any content, you don't do any packs, you just get on and you're just better than everybody at the game. So that's why you're coming on. Because I need to get better. Um, yes. I'm going to help you out, bro. So, first of all, this is my team. I have some questions for you today. I'm probably going to end up playing a game. And I, I will, we'll kind of talk through as I play. And, you know, figure out formations, things to do. What What do you think of this team? Is it a good team? Like, on, on the screen. I don't really know. I'm playing a 4-4-2 right now. We have a 5-back setup. I mean, this is Rat to Glory. So, this is the... This is the chance to go like ultra rat. So whatever's the rattiest stuff, I mean, that's... I'm looking for some expertise here. Yeah. I mean, attacking wise, it's quite good. Midfield with Acuna, I guess, um, is the best possible. Cantia maybe a bit outdated as the 91 what if, but still a, a good option, definitely. Uh, okay. Defensive wise, that part is definitely the weak part. The weak part, definitely. Uh, Rosilion, he must go. You, okay, uh, so he has to go. Still. Yeah, Brazilian. Okay, go. so this is what I was gonna ask you, and I, I'm I'm just getting this tweeted out. Hold on. So for the for that for that position, I've been asking my I've been asking my stream if we should go with Mukiele or Lacroix. I think it's Lacroix. Lacroix, guys. Lacroix, I think uh, is good enough. But then, if you want to go full Raz mode, you should maybe play with the right back there. Mukiele fits this series. Oh, okay. But, Lacroix, I think, overall, might be a bit better. Uh, okay, so you think Lacroix is a little better than Mukiele? Yeah, but I think Mukiele should be cheaper, right? It's like 30k uh, cheaper, but we can, we can, we can, we can spend. Lacroix, yeah. but you know what? It's going to be a very small difference, so it doesn't really matter. With this one, of course, you get chemistry. Always bonus. I saw you have 99 chemistry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have 99 so, chem right now. So it could be nice to get this 100. So I say Lacroix, actually. Okay, and what if I ask you about Varane, Road to the Final? Like, how do you rate him, Road to the Final, not Team of the Season, how do you rate him compared to the two options I just gave you? Um, I think these previous options should be better. Okay. Uh, Road to the Final, he has, what, 85, 86 pace? I'm not sure. Didn't check I'll look right now. In a while. But uh, at this point, the whole currency is a pace, of course, so... Yes. I would say Lacroix or Mukiele. Okay. Lacroix, I think, most likely. Okay, Good so, option. Okay, he has eight, Ra has 87. Okay, Lacroix. No, no, guys, it's, it's very hard to bring, like, a face cam on the stream, so he's recording, and this could be on the YouTube with both face cams, but for now, it's just audio. It's a, it's a call. So then after that is Foot Birthday Mendy, the next option for Gold Mendy. 
Probably. That's probably the next uh, upgrade in the probably, team, right? Yes, but I think looking at the value, shouldn't I think Bet Cheech and what if be a bit cheaper? Oh, okay. Actually. Yeah. And I think uh, he should be pretty much just as good. He, he doesn't, doesn't have double five, but as a, a left back, you don't really need that. So uh, I'm probably go with this budget. Look, I think I, I think you're probably a little bit more educated than me. Do you know how to spell uh this guy's name? Bur it is B E R C H. I think Bet Cheech. Uh, so it's C. Oh, got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. As got him. Yep. I don't know what. I think I Cedric. Could. Here we go. I come. Oh, he's a lot cheaper. Why? Wow, he's really, really cheap. Yeah, this is, I think, the best option. going to save a lot of coins. And, and he's, he's very powerful. powerful. Very, very, very good. You see this 91 aggression. Yeah, he's no, he's really, really good. Really good. And then, yeah, the, the biggest thing for me is, like, the bench. Because yesterday we packed Adama. And he's crazy in the wide position. We were just spamming through balls with him. He's nuts. Mm. I, this key is just a little bit of a fraud. I think the bench right now, I'm really going with Alessandrini, Adama... And then I kind of bring in Ramos in the second half because the 83 pace seems to matter a little bit less. So we yeah. kind of bring him on just to win the tackles and he feels faster than 83 pace when you bring him in on full stamina, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely so. Okay. I think that's good. But I also want to ask you, how do you line this up in the game? So you have 4-4-2. Okay. Yes. So I've made a couple for me. Uh, Boris, I need you to reserve all your judgments right now, okay? Because this is like a really... I, I don't do this, you know, all year, but this is when I let out my rat. So... I'm going to show you, first of all, no worries, we, man. Yeah, no, we have victory formation. So this is victory yeah. formation. Uh, you're watching the stream, right? So 5-3-2. I have drop Go back. back. Yeah. One width and one depth on. Um, I like that. Okay, so this is for when I need to like win the game. I'm usually winning by mm -hmm. goal. Last five minutes, I switched to this. Um, I need to edit around a couple of the tactics, but I make sure that Mbabu and Hernandez and Mendy are my center backs because I feel like they are the... They're the, the the fastest and strongest ones, so I put those mm. ones in the middle. Um, I need to like rearrange a couple of this because I, I would ideally have like probably probably Puskas in the midfield with the attackers that I have in this team for the added strength. He's probably a little stronger than Mbappe or Neymar, and then obviously Acuna, Conte. I put Resilient wide, at tall, and then most of these guys are on stay back. I don't use this formation like that much. Mm. Um, I've used it maybe a couple times. I've been more liking the five two one two with the drop back. And I usually put it on three or three or uh, three or two depth a little bit more, so I'm not like in my box. Yeah. And uh, this one is nicer for me, I feel like, because I have the cam, so I feel like yeah, I can kind of nice. yeah, yeah, I can hold the ball up a little bit more. Um, but yeah, for for you to help me, man, the main stuff I've got is the four four two and the four three one two. Um, and the chat is saying that the rat tactics are to do the pressure after possession loss and the seven depth. Yep, that's correct. That's all good. Okay. And balance 5-5, five, five, also default, that's fine. Okay. And I think this one, you're quite good here, actually, because always the best player should be centrally up front. So you have a ton of push guys there. And maybe you could argue if you could maybe put push guys on the left side for a strong foot. Right. But I, I know you like finesse shots cut in. Yes. So then you should not change. Um, I think it is good, even though I would most likely play Neymar left side. Mbappé left side cutting in, maybe not at this stage the best. Okay. And then I guess you have, with this one, you have to have Acuna balanced. He has to roam free. That's the key. I have Acuna money. has to be balanced. Yeah, balanced on and cover center. Yeah, perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. Cantia, stay back, right? Yep, stay back. All right, that's good. Cover center. What about the strikers? Uh, I have a false nine stay central for a tall, so he can kind of mm. play as a cam. Mm. Yeah, and then I'm mixing up a bit. I had, I had Mbappe on getting behind, but I think I'm gonna change because it's Puskas on balanced. And I think as well, you should actually play both strikers here to not stay forward, but to get back. And I think this is not gonna make like a big difference, but with the four four two as well, sometimes. And you need to connect midfield oh. and strikers. And especially in the build-up phase, it's going to be easier if they are a bit more compact. Yes. So okay. That's why I think they should be both on comeback. This is to make it nice, yes. you know, compact. Borat, this is why you're here, man. Because Borat, I yes, love that, man. We need your help, bro. <laughs> Very nice. Um, but no, but that's a good point because sometimes when I lose possession, I'm instantly in a counter and there's such a big gap between my mid and my strikers and I don't know what to do. It makes me uncomfortable. Yes, and that's the issue when you don't have a cam. So the key here is to make it as compact as possible. And that's why I think uh, this compact on defense is going to be perfect.
Uh, I think a real question I have before we talk any more about formation is that what do you think about playing Nick Pope on two cam in this team? If my defense is on full cam, like I, I, I really feel like he's going to be better than Donnarumma. Donnarumma is kind of fraudulent, man. And I tried. You think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you yeah. try a glove maybe? No, I haven't tried a glove. Maybe I have to put a glove on him. Okay. Try a glove. All right. Um, otherwise, Pope on, I think it's going to be three chemistry, right? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It could work out. I mean, Pope is, is always Pope. Yes. But uh, Donnarumma on full chemistry with glove, I think, should be still a bit better. And also, you're going to get uh, chemistry for Hernandez. Mm -hmm. So, I would not change that. And, okay, so this is where it's going to get... This is where it's going to get ratty a little bit of this discussion. Because, guys, we have to get some advice before we get into anything. What do you think is the best or, let's say, most meta formation in the game? Am I doing it right with the 4-4-2? 4 for 2 I think, in champs is the best. Yes, uh, I think so. Um, and the key with this one is to play it kind of fast-paced, you know, with tempo. I mean, just look at uh, Anders Vergang. He plays this, and he had, what, like 500-something wins in a row. So this one, if you use it in the right way, it is, I think, the best. Okay. Um, the only thing is that sometimes it suffers against 5 at the back. Only thing. So okay. if you face someone that plays, uh, let's say, 5-2-1-2 or 5-3-2, you should mirror that one and play the same, I think. Okay, so if we play somebody with five back, we go to the victory formations, one of those two. I think so, definitely. I think so, definitely. Okay. These are questions, Boris, because I, I, I need to learn. What, what is the best mechanic to use in this game, you feel like? Like, out of anything you could use, if I'm spamming one thing in this game, what am I going into the match thinking about, I need to do five of this mechanic every game? What do you think? Obviously, it's situational, it's, but... I think it's quite obvious, Nick, but that's going to be directional nutmeg. Okay. And, uh, also known as a rat meg. Rat meg. I think that one is the best for sure. All right. Uh, and if you have someone like Atal up front, yes. uh, just spam it, and one out of four maybe will go through, right. and you're going to be one on one. Okay. And that is the best. Okay. But then as well, one thing that's also very good is the L1 dead stop into Elasticos also l1 oh very yeah, yeah, yeah okay so say that again say that again it is l1 dead stop so just the tap l1 stop the ball and then do elastico or reverse elastico it is it is powerful it is very powerful i think uh, these two mainly that as well of course uh, cancer croqueta that one yep. is Cro the crocodile cro yep we've been working croqueta, on that a lot yeah, so yeah that, one uh, also... that one we've been really working on and i'm and i'm starting yeah, to get good at that. it I think in the wide positions, right, it's very useful to kind of get that inner quickness on the inside, right? Mm-hmm. So, so I think uh, these three are the main three. And if you just spam these ones, I think you're, you're going to be quite fine. So you're just basically doing a shot fake stop and then you're doing nah, the... Uh, uh, uh. That's the key. Not a fake shot. Just L1. All right, just tap L1. Oh. Tap it. I, I tapped it. Release left stick oh. and just L1. And he's just gonna Wait, stop that's so much quicker. Yeah, it's a lot quicker. Wait, look, ready? I'm gonna count. Ready? Millisecond one. Oh, yo, it's, yo that's so quick. I love it, but the key is that you must also uh, you must press L1 and release left stick. Otherwise, it's not gonna pull off. Oh my God, it's so really L1 fast. L1 only. I right, just tap it. Like See? that, right? Yeah. Tap. I just tapped it. Yes, and he's gonna stop it, and then right away after it's just elastic or and he's he's gonna be gone. Jeez, okay, that's very so helpful. Practice this one, and what is so good about this one as well is that the, no matter how you are turned, when you press this one L1, you're always gonna exit towards the goal. So you can be jogging with the ass against the goal, and then you just tap L1. Oh, and they, he's oh be man, looking straight forward. Oh wow, they set you up every time in front of the net. This is so ratty. Yes. This, uh, this just but, changed everything. Yes, but now this one is crucial. This one works only when a player is in jogging speed. If he is in full sprint, it's not going to work out. Then instead just use fake, uh, fake shot stop, I think, definitely. But if you are jogging every time, I think you should just tap L1 and then right away, elastico, elastico, yep. and bye-bye. It is, wow. it is good. Okay, that's Practice big. this one. We're going to practice this one. Okay, now we have a question in the middle of all this. Uh, there was a community asked question. Are Swedish women yeah. the most attractive in the world? What are your thoughts on this, Boris? Uh, my girlfriend is Swedish. So, so yes, you have, have to say, say yes. You have to say yes. Okay, it's I'm going to do some traveling definitely. soon. 
Okay. Yeah, you should come over here. So, best keepers in this game. What are you, what are you saying? If I ask you to give me three keepers in the game that are amazing. Difficult question, but overall, they should be quite tall. But uh, Schmeichel is great. Uh, you have this moment, Schmeichel, the prime. Okay. And there is Van der Sar as well. Is always great. And non-icons, I think Ederson Tots is... Ederson, unreal. team of the season. Uh, is very good, yes. Why do you think he's so effective? Because he's not as tall as some of these other guys. He's not tall, but he is super quick. Okay. He has like, I think, 75 speed. So he has pretty much the same pace as some of the center backs. Wow. So he can recover extremely quickly. And that is especially good, let's say, if you have a high defensive line to have like kind of a sweeper keeper. But then if you want... Keeper staying at the line. I think actually Pope at this stage. I would not say outdated, but he's great, of course, still. Oh. But I think there are better options. Okay. Um, I'm using myself, uh, actually, um, this Summer Stores Bravo. I love him. It's same there. It's same there. He's not tall, but he's super quick. So new super meta is quick. fast keepers potentially right now. Either they should be very, very fast or very, very big. Either. Okay. So look for pace or height. Do, do you feel like Castiles is in that same question mark with, with Pope? Were they a little outdated? I tried out Castiles. I did not like him. But uh, when it comes to keepers, it's always going to be very different opinions, of course. Okay, let's talk about defenders. Now, I'm not going to ask you center backs, left backs, right backs, because we're only using left backs and right backs. Who are you thinking that are realistic choices of left and right backs? Uh, sorry, we're getting an announcement that Lacroix has dropped a lot, so we're going to see if he's on the market. Mm -hmm. But what are you thinking are realistic? I guess yeah, maybe. Yeah, but I think you should try to fit in maybe some footies. Okay. Uh, Tavernier should play, I think. And that one is not that hard, and he's very, very powerful. Okay. And then with him, he doesn't need to have tank chemistry. So you can play him on six or six. Okay. Yeah, but I think he should be in there. He's going to have that the soft link to Pushkas, and that's going to be 8 chemistry. Good enough. Um, but depends on the budget. But I think the best one in the game pretty much is Militao. Path to glory. He's so okay. cracked. Yeah, but Mendy. Boris, Boris, he's not a, he's not a center back, a left back, though, or right back. Yeah, I know, but I, know, I was but, yeah. probably maybe center back. But um, left backs, yeah, yeah, Berchiche. And then maybe if you lead La Liga, perhaps Jordi Alba, but I don't really like him that much because he's small. Overall, bro, I mean, try to get in some of these free items, you know, right. footies. Tavernier is perfect for you. And then when we talk about midfielders, I'm assuming Acuna is probably one of your favorites. He should be there, man. He should be there, definitely. End game. So if we upgrade End Conte, I, who are you thinking is more of an upgrade? I mean, my initial thought is maybe that moment's Mateus, but other than that, mm. who are you thinking? I think uh, you might need, for the chemistry, maybe some icons. Uh, Matthias is amazing. A bit cheaper option might be as well SCN moments. I have him played him for like 200 something games. Amazing option. Okay. And one thing that you can do with him also is you can switch in game playing, let's say, Matthias, SCN right back and Tavernier midfield. And you're going to get right. a crazy ass midfield with right. Acuna and Tavernier. It's going to be one of the best in the game. And then attackers, obviously, Atal is going nowhere. He has to be there. Um, now we've got, I mean, this, yes. th yeah, this Puskas is going to be here for a bit. I don't know if he's going to stay forever. And then is your recommendation to just continue to try to work on getting better versions of Mbappe and Neymar? Like trying to get it record breaker Mbappe, slowly upgrading those? Or do we go another route and try to fit in maybe some of these 5-5 five, five players? Cristiano, what are your thoughts? It's hard to say, actually, but Mbappe and Nif definitely has to go. I mean, that one is outdated. I think you can also feel that. I yeah. mean, it's still good, but there are better options. Um, but Atal, I guess you're going to get his 94, right? Yes. So you're going to play him centrally. So you need kind of a right winger and left winger. Well, you know what? I think the best shot is to hope for, again, some nice footies. Let's say if we get that, the footies, Jens uh, Martins could be fantastic here. Right. Uh, Neymar works out still. Neymar is always Neymar. Yes. Works out almost uh, always. But if you can get the, a better version... I think it's not worth it because Neymar, what, if you can get his Tots or his Summer Stars, is a big difference. A big difference. You're going to have to spend, what, like 2.53 mil? Uh, so yeah. I say stick with Neymar Nif, but Mbappé has to go. So that's going to be, I think, the next upgrade up front.
Okay, yeah. So uh, a 92 informed Neymar is not going to be worth it because we can obviously spend the coins. Yeah, it's not places. worth it. And again, difference is going to be minimal. Really minimal difference. But the best way to defend kickoff, I mean, it's difficult, but uh, you can do one thing or actually two things. The first thing is to focus on the game because I know as well if you're streaming after scoring, you check the chat. I do the same and you can see. Um, focus on the screen and use offside trap once. Offside trap and you should be good. You know what? What I notice is that when you are trailing and you're losing against someone and you feel like this guy is not good. I cannot lose against this guy. Yes. It will trigger, of course, uh, it will trigger you to... Well, you are, you're going to get nervous because you, you're thinking, you're getting this into this uh, spiral of negative thoughts. I cannot lose against this guy. I cannot lose against this guy. It cannot happen. And then the more advanced you try to play, usually the worse it will go. That's why when that happens, just play primitive. Just play simple. Just keep it simple. Uh, shoot a lot. First time face shots. Uh, try these simple tricks, but if you're gonna try to start to do shot cancels, uh, Magidi cancel, you will yeah. most likely just get frustrated and stuck. M Magidi so, cancel, I see a lot of the really, really ratty sweat sewer players using it. Do I need to start to learn that or it's not really necessary? I use that. Uh, it's it's good definitely, but it's also, it's quite difficult and it's not really like, I don't think it's a top five move. Okay. So sh you should uh, stick to the top three. We said, there's a nutmeg, yep. we said, uh, Elasticos and reverse from dead stop L1 and as well cancel uh, cancel croqueta as well. These are I think the top three and if you just use these ones you, you should be fine definitely. And also one more as well I have to mention heel to heel flick amazing. Heel to heel flick. Heel to heel I... is amazing and especially yes. if you have maybe defender lunging trying to block it let's say it's very compact yes. very tight. Heel to heel gives you that extra angle to maybe find the opening and the shots. I think heel to heel as well is a must for you. Is there anybody that you think of some revolutionary super sub that I need to add that would be maybe on a somewhat of a budget? Yes, that's what we mentioned. I think Isak? you would really benefit from having one uh, superb uh, header. <laughs> someone okay. that can really head the ball, someone that can really jump. You don't really have, like the team is not that tall. It's a quite small team. Yes. Uh, average height might be something, I don't know what, like 5 foot 10 maximum. And the bench is also small, so I think I should definitely try to bring in someone that can offer you that excellence. You have Ramos on the bench, but he's more of a defender. Yeah. So maybe the chat can help out uh, trying to find some kind of tower. I think Isak is the best one, but he's not that cheap, even though I think that price is good. Maybe the chat has something for you. No, I, 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 I it, sound, it sounds Boris, header. it sounds like Isak is, is who you want me to get. He's good. Okay. So I think we're going to end up definitely testing him out at some point. I think for me, I, I'm prioritizing getting Lacroix first for that center yeah. back spot. Um, I saw, yeah, also Chad is saying Lukaku 98. Right. But I think he is more expensive, should be, and he doesn't have faster weak foot. Do you have any tips on tackling the ball or we're all just fucked? And what I mean is that uh, when we tackle the ball and it's sticky and all that yes. BS and we're losing our mind. I know. Is there some but, mechanic I can use or some specific type of tackle that I can time or are we just all in the fucking mud? Do you use circle? I use circle. L2 only? Yeah, circle? Yeah, circle. Yeah, and I mean, that's good. But sometimes, of course, it's always going to be BS. But if you want to be 100% resolute and 100% sure, slide tackle is really good. Slide tackle this year is really good. Okay. And just don't do it from behind, of course. But when you have this uh, frontal sequence you can definitely do it because uh, they get sent off very rarely uh, last year was a big risk because you could get sent off for anything right but this year sliding is very good yes there, there's almost no has, like, this year, right plus. like like nobody's getting sent off this year ever nah it's very difficult very difficult man so even in a breakaway when some like in that last uh, you know you might have seen the if last game last I man Right, when Ben Yedder was on that breakaway, I should have slid tackled the hell out of him or just left the game, right? So that my opponent didn't win, regardless. Could have done that. Could have done that. Yes. I have some a couple things like tips against other rats, tips for closing out matches. I mean, I think we covered a lot of this. I mean... The chat is spamming pens. Boris, I really need help with penalties, brother. I Can we go... Saving we, or... Uh, taking. I actually save a lot of penalties, but let me tell you, I, I would say realistically, I have about a 45-40% conversion pen rate. Yeah, 
I think there. Well, you can do use some glitches. Uh, there is this uh, chip glitch. Well, well hold on a sec. Use... I got it. How do I? Is there practice arena or skill games for penalties? What's better? Practice arena. Borat, I like what I there hear. There is this glitch. I I don't use it. I'm gonna use it though. This this series is is gonna fit well. So you kind of just aim top ins and hold down chip button, and use low power, and the keeper cannot save it. But this one is, is a bit risky because there's also a high chance that you're gonna hit crossbar. Bor Borat, I'm nervous. I can't stop moving my left stick. I'm really yeah, nervous. Yeah, I see. With, with I, I, maybe you know you what? Um, what's simple. it? No, D Boris, this is what happens sometimes too. Sometimes I take too long, and my, I'm looking. I ask my chest, say left, right, left, right, middle, and I'm looking, and I'm looking, and that happens, and I and yeah, it does that. because you have like I think ten, maybe fifteen seconds. Something. Okay, to... so before we take this penalty, Nightwatch, who is a like you know Doctor Nightwatch is. I know Nightwatch, man. He told me Legend. last year if I use both of my hands on the left stick that I can kind of like counter it moving around. Like yeah. Uh, that's a, a good trick using um, the thumb and index finger to give you a bit more stable grip. Okay. But the main key is to not aim until you power up. Okay, Boris, I didn't listen to you. Yeah, but I said the main key is to not aim until you power up. So, so that one power, I think up, is, power up first. That one I think is a bit risky. Power up first and then move it? Then move it because if you move before powering up, you gotta reveal head movement. And of course, with this one also, you could bluff it. You could look right, shoot left. But I always wait and power up first and then aim. Okay. And then he cannot tell. And now again, it's yeah, yeah, too yeah, long. Yeah, no, no, I know, I know, I know. I, 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 mean, I think for you, the best uh, trick is to just shoot, man, because you're taking too long. <laughs> no, 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 Bora, but I want to learn the glitch. Uh, Nemo has, though, a long run up. So with him, you can aim. You, okay, that, I didn't chip it, I think. That one is risky, bro. I think that one is risky. But if, if you want to practice this, if you want to master this one, it is an ultimate rat trick. So, it's all about grinding, bro. What? All about grinding. The chat is saying it doesn't work against the AI. As the, Yeah, most likely not. But against humans, it should work out most times. But again, you know, it's, it's high risk because maybe you... Yellow time it, maybe you are a bit nervous, you start to shake, and you're gonna hit the crossbar. So so in, your, overall, in, in the case if if I'm nervous, and I don't mean to cut you off, if I'm nervous, I need to score this penalty. What's your tip that's not that glitch, right? I always shoot low. low. I always shoot low. And I go most times either left or right. So I just start out always aiming first middle. Yeah. Always first middle. Using around two and a half hours power. Okay. And after powering up. You move it uh, slowly towards either left or right. So like this, power up, and then either left or right slowly. Like that? Until you reach, of course, the corner. Like this, yes. This one is for me the best. Um, especially when, you know, there's a bit of nerves. You can feel yes. the pulse, etc. So with this one, you have a 33%. Wow. No, 67, I think, percent chance yes. of scoring. Yeah, so it's quite good. Dude, we're, we're learning a ton from you today. I mean, this L1 is crazy, and now I feel like I'm more confident with my penalties as well. But that L1 thing you taught me is nuts, bro. Do you do L1 and then Croquetta, too? Yep. Oh. All the time. Because it's a lot quicker. A lot quicker. And also, animation is very subtle. So, opponent cannot see it. And if you do this quickly, stop it, faint, it is deadly. It is deadly. And ratty. Keyword. That's exactly what we're looking for. Just ratty. <laughs> yeah. All right. What's up? How many wins is top 200 on PC? So we're going to take a look at that right now. Yeah, I think it shouldn't be that high, right? It's like 24, maybe? Is it? We got it last year. We got 26 last year. But I. Yeah. what's interesting about PC is that there's no pros, but the passion level is crazy. It's very, it's very passionate mm -hmm. over here. Yeah. Obviously, it's easier, though, than getting a, a 29 or a 30. It is. It's just the games are... I mean, the games are crazy. Now, I think last week, uh, I'm going to take a look for you. It was 25 last week. Ozio, 30 wins. Impressive. Oh, man. Ozio. And this is the thing, yeah. Boris, as well, is that I'm very convinced there's a lot of mouse and keyboard players on PC, and that freaks me out. These guys defend with mouse and keyboard. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they program their brains to do it. It is impressive, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, so don't thank you for coming on. We really, we really all appreciate the help. I don't know how many people are in here right now, but this is very helpful for us because yes. um, we're trying to get better. Big honor as yes. well. Uh, big honor being the first guest here. Yes. And I want to wish you, my friend, the best of luck 
and hope you hit that uh, the top 200. And, and thanks so much. Yes, and and you really also I wanted to point out you help us against hackers. That's a big deal. We play hackers a lot, Boris. I'm not making it up. So these this L1, I think this L1 Elastico might be the key to success. So, anyways, we're gonna link all your stuff. Mods, you get a link to his Twitch right now. You follow his Twitch because we're on Twitch. And then we're gonna put uh in, obviously in the video, we will we will link everything. And guys, go show Boris some love. He is a great creator, man. He's really good at the game. Uh he builds really unique teams, and more importantly, he's a good guy. Um, which is obviously the most important. And uh, yeah, man, thank you for coming on. Take care, my friend. All right, bye. guys. Bye-bye, Boris. Have a nice one. You too, brother. Go rat. Yes. I prefer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, easy, All right. brother. All right, guys, so look, that was a really, really useful thing, and that's why we have guests. Now, I think at some point, we may have Boris come on and help us in a game situation at some point. But obviously, I think for now, guys, I mean, look, I've used them for 50 minutes, man. And yes, he's getting some promo, but guys, I think if we use them in a game setting, like, we're going to need some dinero, chat. That's can't have all this shit for free right we got a lot of tips today i wrote a lot of stuff down i have a lot of stuff down man a lot of things um a lot of things to consider for the rest of this series guys i mean we have kickoff tips now now when i'm on kickoff i'm gonna be knowing that i have to use a bridge we have the ksi kickoff where in the second half we can sub in isak we've got players we can work towards we've got mechanics we can spam we've got good formations um we've got don't play saturdays slide tackles instead of stand tackles first time fake shot against drop back noobs don't overcomplicate things. Shoot a lot against drop back. We've got keeper options we're going to now look towards getting. And I think the biggest thing for us is on kickoff, we got to focus on defending. I can't focus on the chat. That was a very good tip. Did we win it? No, man. This is a bidding rat. Chat? Thoughts? I don't think there's going to be anything else that's new or anything, boys. Did we win it? Chat, Lacroix was 240 all day. And we won him for 210k. This is amazing. Man, Resilient was so good to us, chat. I, I, he was so good to us. I almost don't want to sell him. I almost don't want to sell him, Chad, because he was so good to us. And this, this Lacroix also comes with a shadow. And we have 100 chemistry on the rats now, Chad. 100 chemistry. Oh I got to edit this, Chad, because Lacroix is playing left back, I think, right now. Dude, that is exact. Come on, Neymar. He's going to win that. That is exactly the angle. What? How are we missing this many chances? Great goal, great through ball. And what I'm noticing, the advice that he gave us about going to a five back when somebody's using a five back, not only does the team feel right, I just don't feel like I'm panicking. I feel like I'm even in the game. I feel like I'm not at a disadvantage at all. It was, th th this advice was so good. Sometimes to beat a rat, you have to become one, right? And that's what we're trying to do. So great half. So he said offside trap, right? I think I did it a little bit late, but we already won the ball, which is great. And then probably off the kickoff, we're going to want to do slide tackles. Wow, five at the back. No. Shit. Lucky goal, man. Lucky goal. Lucky counterattack, chat. That guy got lucky. Mm, guys, this is not looking good right now, man. I'm not going to lie. Don't really know what the fuck is going on, but... What the fuck, man? Chat! What is going on? Is he hacking, man? Dude, what did I just see, man? 300 mile an hour passes. Fuck, man. I'm trying to improve and I'm, I'm playing like... That's a foul, ref. No, man. Look at Dembele already playing like shit. Mayday. He's tackling me from behind, man. Nah, I'm devastated, man. I was up 2 nothing in this game. I'm devastated. I'm absolutely devastated, man. All right, Dembele. Shit, we cannot play Dembele. He's not good. The first half, I was focusing so much. And the second half, I'm like, oh, I'm up to nothing. I'm all good. And I don't think I focused. I think I literally lost all my focus. That's what happened, man. I think that's what it came down to. That guy was not good, man. Was he hacking? I don't know. If, I don't think... Chad, what do you guys think? Was he hacking? Do you think he turned the hacks on at halftime? Look, man, it's possible. It's possible. All right, guys. So I think I think we're going to check out the content. I think there's, we're probably going to conclude today's episode there. Tomorrow's when, uh, tomorrow is when we go to war, man. The first war of the year on the rats. I don't, I don't have any, I can't risk anything, chat. I, there's nothing I can do, guys. I have no coins left. I have no untradables. I can't risk anything. There's nothing I can do.